Hi guys and welcome to another Fine Scale Modeler New Product Rundown One Shot. I'm Aaron Skinner and this time we're going to take a look at Italeri's M4 Sherman. This one is specially marked for the U.S. Marine Corps. So let's see what is in the box. If I get it through the plastic, which also has, while I'm at it, I'm just going to cut through the little seals on the sides. Oh, how special you are. Really? <laughs> I right. just wish I was that clever. That's all. Uh huh. Everybody does, Tim. Everybody. All right. Well, let's take a look. I know this kit has been around. The Italy Shermans have been around for a while. So this is not a new tool, but I think it has uh, some newer parts um, and uh, some new decals. So we'll start with the lower hull, largely one piece with detail mold underneath and on the sides. Sponson plates are here. We have suspension parts, bogey parts. Uh, looks like it's got the rollers and the track slides. Um, the concave smooth road wheels. Looks like those are one piece. Oh. There. The spring arms and the actual springs. There are the rollers. The uh, two different styles of drive sprocket open tooth or open and then closed. The hubs for those. All right. And we'll, while we're here, we have this out. We'll do the turret as well. The turret, some nice cast texture on the mantlet. Um, looks like we have some optional road wheels here with the pressed spoke style idlers. The front of the turret, the commander's hatch with uh, separate actual hatches, the loader's hatch. And then uh, here's the add-on applique armor plating that was added to some Shermans. The gun is molded in halves. Oops, come on. That give you a lot of room inside these plastic bags to cut without actually damaging the parts. So here is oh, parts are sticking together. So here is the upper hull. Again, you got weld seams, the diesel engine deck, style engine deck, separate hatches for the driver and gunner. The front fenders are molded on, on the sides. The rear Two different rear panels, depending on which version it is. Um, the uh, transmission cover, you had a whole bunch of different stowage items, uh, various light guards, brush guards for the um, periscopes, hatches, various, various details, tow cables. Okay, here's one of the, this must be the, one of the trade out between the M4 and M4A2 is you get a separate engine deck to go on. I'd have to look at my, I think this is the M4A2 engine deck and this is the M4A3 engine deck. If I am remembering my Shermans correctly. I'm sure one of you guys out there can, can correct me if I am wrong. I also have some uh, commander's cupola, an optional commander's cupola, 50 caliber machine gun. Spare tracks. Spare tracks. The, I think this is the deflector for one of the exhaust versions. And then we have the add-on parts for some of the Pacific Shermans, the wood planking that was applied to the sides for added protection, and the weighting trunks for the exhaust and uh, intakes. And those wood sides, they had some uh, wood grain molding. Yep. 
Got some texture molded in there. Yep. So the various parts used for some of the amphibious landing versions. And then the tracks, which are vinyl, but I am, the box top makes a point of saying that these are glueable vinyl tracks. Uh, it looks like it is the, what does it say? T54E1 style tracks, so the ones with the chev metal chevrons. But let's take a look at the cool parts, which are, we have the decals, which it looks like it gives you four options. And here they are right up front. Actually, let's we'll go this way. So you choose your version. So yes, uh, versions A through uh, C, you cut out the engine deck and replace it with the engine deck. And I think that's the M4A2, like I said. Let's see what it says. Yes, M4A2 for version A. So it is the, the one you cut out and replace. The replacement one is the M4A2. So then, you know, work your way through the instructions. Pretty basic uh, instructions. There are the options for the commander's hatch, the applique armor, the wood sides for the different, uh, for the other versions. And then the waiting trunks. They give you mesh to do the screens on the in intake trunks. And then the decals, or the marking options. So we have an M4A2 in Iwo Jima, Red Bug, and that's one with the wood sides and you get the Marine Corps colored camouflage, do color camouflage, copperhead, or Cold Hopper, I thought it said Copperhead. That's what I get for reading upside down. Uh, another one at Iwo Jima, another M4, that's an M4A3. Um, and then Caesar, I think this is one at, uh, this is, says Peleliu here. And then another one at Iwo Jima, Blackjack, also in dual color camouflage. Um, some of them have different weighting trunk versions. These ones have the remains of the waiting trunks. This one has the full waiting trunks fitted. So that is Italeri's 135th scale Marine Corps M4 Sherman. Thanks for watching. I'm Aaron Skinner. I'll see you next time.